here we have the no arc 160 amp DC circuit breaker specially ordered for this project what a beast there you go look at that thing is massive <laughs> Serious circuit breaker. Alright, a little bit of the tricky part of this project is that you have to mount the hardware for the circuit breaker and the Anderson plug and the Hall effects monitor into position so that uh, it doesn't foul on anything. So this is kind of the layout. The, the cable, I've got to do some cables from say the positive over into the circuit breaker and then if I come around the other side I was going to do something like uh, have it come out of the circuit breaker through the Hall effects monitor uh, BMS and into the Anderson plug. Um, that other one there, the circuit breaker is just going to be used as a switch to initialize the inverter when we first go to use it. All right, so now we want to put the cable onto the circuit breaker and battery. So we've obviously got to do the measuring of the of how long we want that cable and this is a little bit of the tricky part about the positioning of things because um, you know this only has so much bend to it so you don't want it um, going into the circuit breaker at a sharp Keep angle. Keep it all nice and neat. Yeah and these are size 6 lugs which fit perfectly fine on the battery terminals um, perhaps have to get a longer screw but um, we'll also have to drill out the centers so we can get them to fit on the on the terminals of the circuit breaker as well What I'm going to do is uh, run the positive cable here. So we want about that much length and um, I can just mark that. Need to cut the insulation off the end because um, at the moment the, the lug is the right size but it won't obviously go on. So want to uh, just measure the the lug there as well the lug depth so there we are cut to length and I've trimmed the insulation off the ends uh, just pop the lugs on there to make sure you get all the fibers in there No fibres sticking out, it's not too bad. Alright, just do the other ends now. Alright, there we are, just ready for heat shrink. That should work nicely. So, I was thinking like this. But there's no, the whole effects monitor doesn't have to be at that end, it can be on this end, uh, which is one option. This has the, the mounting screws on the top there, so it might be best to, to go that way up. And just in this corner here, just needs to be sticking out a little bit for when you plug in the Anderson plug. 
So now it's just a bit of fiddling with the alignment. Right, there you can see I've popped in the, I've popped the circuit breaker in position and I've put one of the lugs on the circuit breaker and tied that down. But this is part of the thing that you need to work out, right? So where the Hall Effects monitor can't go, or the BMS can't go any further that way. Um, and to some degree, that's the position of it stabilised by, by the cable. So um, we might have to make a little mount just for the, the other side here, just here, so it, um, you know, stands up in place by itself and isn't too, isn't too fragile. <laughs> so what we're going to try and do is put extra layers of heat shrink on here so that it fills up the space, giving it a bit more stability. having a bit of trouble focusing there but you can see how thick that is. <coughs> that's pretty good. A little bit of give but that's perfect.
except on. Yeah, you're, you're a star of the channel, but that's there. His foot is. <laughs> he wasn't in the video, uh, just his foot. <laughs> Should we use a vice or is this good enough? No, this is good enough. We should probably get one of those style printers for the shop. No you don't have one. Yep. I'm good? Yep. No, that was before lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Three frames, Jesus. Yeah, Sorry. we're serious. <laughs> How many do you do? Only uh, two? <laughs> I do two and then give up. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have one of these. It you... takes fucking years. <laughs> All right. Ready? The first test of the inverter. Okay. Hooked up to the battery. Recharge. Power and do the pre charge. In the the pre charge on button. There you go. Ooh. So now we need to stick something in there and see if we get 240 volts. You got fingers right? You can. Overvolt? No, it's just output 1 volt 230. Did you bring anything that we can plug in? <laughs> All right, we're gonna <laughs> plug in the Kona and see what Got happens. Got it set to 10 amps. This is the best thing we could think of for a load test. Should get a green signal in a second. Perfect. Yep, it's going to 45 amps. 45 amps. And we've got 2.1 at the car. 